Hey, what is up Urban Explorers? Before this video begins, I just want to say thank you for your amazing support in the previous video. We are so excited to show you more awesome content and we appreciate your continued support and we hope that you enjoy the next video. Just remember to smash that like button, comment and subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you won't miss another new awesome episode. So without further ado, let's get to the next episode. What's up people, you're with Jason and Jonathan again. How's it, how's it? Um, we're doing a little bit of a exploration of St. Mary's Cemetery, which is, happens to be the oldest cemetery in Port Elizabeth. Um, most of the graves here, in fact all of them, are, well not all of them, but the vast majority um, are actually from the 1800s. Some of them are from the 1900s, but generally they mostly range between 1808 and 1849. So these, it's a really old cemetery. Some of the original founders of Fort Elizabeth are actually buried here. Um, a little bit up the hill there is an abandoned church, um, which used to be St. Uh, St. Mary's Church. And actually the um, deacon, I'm not too sure of the correct word, of it, like the, the deacon or the reverend, um, but his, his tombstone and his wife's tombstone is actually located in the cemetery as well. Um, so we're going to show you guys around, we're going to show you those. Um, and yeah, we're just going to show you a general overlay of the place, how it looks, and hopefully we'll see something interesting as well. So let's get on with it. Let's go and see what's here. interesting looking grave we've got this sort of angel figure over here holding I think it's holding a trumpet it looks to it looks to be like it's holding a basket and a trumpet so I'm not too sure what that symbolizes um, name of this person was Susanna Dorothea born Schlemmer so I guess she got married her original name I suppose was Schlemmer uh, 1834 she died in 1873 um, and then it just lists names of her children as well um, Oh shit, dude, look at this shit. No way. It's, it's like a little skull of some type of a... Uh, some type of animal. If any of you guys know what this is from, because I'm not too sure. Look, look at its tongue. It's yeah. strange. Because it, it looks like herbivore teeth, but then it's got these... these teeth at the front. I'm not too sure if any of you guys know what this is. You can maybe comment below. I'm not too sure. Um, it does look a bit strange. But I think we're going to take this with us as a souvenir because it's, yeah, it's quite a nice discovery. This is not what I thought. I don't know, I saw a picture online that showed some um, stones like this which would have been the Reverend and his wife. But if I, if I look like this, the names are Joseph Eugene Landry and Stuart, the beloved wife. Oh no, wait a minute. Stuart, the beloved wife of J.E. Landry, late of Perth, Scotland, who died at Port Elizabeth 7th August 1893 in her 63rd year. So wait, this actually could be, I just thought it would say like Father Joseph or something like that. Then. But the, the image online that I saw, because I mean that it's like matching stones. So this could be them. If, if, if any of you guys know of the history, because um, I can't recall the name, but I think it could have been Joseph Joseph Eugene Landry. Landry sounds familiar, um, but I uh, stand to be corrected if, if anybody knows of the correct history. But the image that I saw was these, and it makes sense because they are matching, they're matching tomb, tombstones. So, we're just going to explore a little bit to the edges, because they, I think some of the oldest graves are up on the other side as well. Uh, so we're going to go and take a look over there quickly. Seven. 
it's just amazing how how run down um, this type of place has become I mean no one really had really took care of it oh. holy shit oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they gave me a fright I think they did it on purpose as well yeah they planned it but, uh, I think the the state of this is just due to a general lack of maintenance um, just look at there's some headphones or broken headphones up there. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, it's just like a lack of maintenance and vandalism. Uh, we actually had to climb over the wall to get in here because uh, I checked on Google Maps and I saw an entrance at the top, but now, as I see recently, it, it's been gated off and we couldn't access it from there. So we had to access it from the road. So we kind of climbed in here. Um, but yeah, no, nobody seemed to really um, mind or look at us suspiciously or anything like that. So. I think they prefer for people not to come in here after a certain hour, but yeah, so far so good. Nobody. We saw some people walking up in the walkway, but they didn't seem too interested in us. So, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I wonder if these work. Well, that's an awesome find, eh? Yeah, what, what are these? I think it's just some generic brand or something. But to like oh a, no, look here. The, like a fake Beats or something. No, the it's the connection has been broken off. Oh man. Oh, well. All right. So far, this is quite an interesting looking one. Um, it's in loving memory of John Douglas. What is, what is this say? Some of the words are a little bit difficult. Fenzi. Some, some of it's a little bit difficult to make out. But in any case, it says he was the late captain in the British German Legion and formerly of the Russian Guard. And I'm not sure of this word. Kirasiers. Uh, it's C-U-I-R-A-S-S-I-E-R-S. -S -S. But we'll do a little bit of research into that word and give you guys a definition because I'm not too sure of myself. Um, but in any case, he died 25th October 1871, and he was 45 years of age. So, yeah, um, people back then actually died at quite much earlier ages than we do, because obviously we've got access to antibiotics and medications and hospitals, whereas these people didn't really have good access to any type of health care. So if they got sick, they pretty much died. Yeah, um, but let's see what else there is. I think we can... It's, it's actually starting to get dark. So yeah, up this side, the, a sun, bit, the sun is going down. Yeah, it's a little bit creepy up this side because we've got quite a lot of sort of plant life here and it just feels like something can jump out at any moment. There's mm. a shoe here. Let's see, look at this. Uh, it's a part of... This emblem is of, it looks like it's of somebody's blazer. So, I don't know, maybe they belong to some type of fraternity club <laughs> club or I don't, I'm not too sure there must be That's something it. we'll leave that there I wonder what they great see these graves here are kind of like outside the central part of the of the cemetery actually yeah because what happened is that as, I'm not too sure on which end they con started construction here but they um, they started on one end and there was quite bad floods at, at some point and it actually damaged many of the tombstones so then I, I think they started kind of building more up away from the direction of the of the river. Uh, it's called the Barkins River, which runs over there. So I think I think these ones might be a little older, or they may have got damaged on this side. Mm. So yeah, but I think we, we'll just check it out up until the edge, because I don't yeah. think there's anything more after that. Okay, um, let's go take a look. Then, yeah, we can go to the church just now as well, if we can get there. Yeah. I heard some twigs breaking up there just now, that's why... I thought, I don't know if there was somebody there. Probably could have been like an animal or something. Yeah. If you guys hear a little bit of noise, um, there's, we're actually next to a venue where they're having like a little bit of a celebration, a party. I'm not too sure if it's a wedding or a birthday or something, but if you guys hear some music in the background, it's it's that. I did notice so, a car driving with some flowers on that one, so it could be a wedding of some sort. Yeah. Oh, look, this is quite damaged. I'm a word. This is awesome. No, this is completely damaged. And there's the, I mean, the part of the tombstone. Oh, look at these, they're all overgrown with these plants. Yeah, I think we should check these out. These might be quite old. If some of you guys don't know, um, Port, Elizabeth, Port Elizabeth used to be um, the home, the, basically the landing port um, of the 1700 and 1800 settlers. Um, but particularly the, in the 1800 era. So most of these graves and tombstones and stuff here, um, they belong to people who lived in the 1800s. 
They're the, actually the original founders of the uh, of the, the startings, I guess, of Port Elizabeth. Like it's mm. it's them. Yeah. So some of them are laying here. I to, did. To rest. I, I have read on a couple of um, gravestones already that um, Port Elizabeth Port Elizabeth used to be called um, uh, the um, the Elizabeth of Yore. Um, which is quite interesting because actually I've never seen that before written on anything else, um, especially um, on the history websites that I've looked up about Port Elizabeth. So that is pretty interesting. Um, I will do some research to actually what that is, um, the Elizabeth of Yore, and we can see what we can find. That is, they were aged five days. Five days? So this is like a, a little baby. Oh, check here, yeah, check, check, check. Oh my word, is that a PC box? Oh yeah. Oh my word. Yeah, it looks like an abandoned PC box. Maybe we should climb inside and explore it. <laughs> <laughs> Could be haunted. Could be haunted. Haunted by viruses. Haunted by viruses, yeah. <laughs> oh, let's check at this. Oh, wow. Oh, there's actually some there on the side. So guys, if you guys don't know, well, just to give you an update, we... I'll show you where we started. Down, down there, by that wall, we came around. And we came through, yeah. And now we come to this part. This is kind of like the excluded part of the cemetery, which we talked about, that was uh, built on afterwards. So it's pretty interesting. What is this? Somebody. It's hard to read. In loving, yeah, it's a little bit faded. But it says, in loving memory of Samuel Tipper, born 12th May, 1868 in at somewhere london died 22nd july 1880 i can't make out the last digit it's totally it's totally worn off uh, i think it's a seven 1887 also, yeah that's 1887 for sure also of his brother thomas tipper so i don't know if there's actually two people buried here two brothers it seems like it uh laid side by side he died Not, 20 20th may 1900. Oh, so he lived a little bit longer. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Two brothers, eh? Playing side by side. So we're just trying to find this crypt. Do you remember where it was? I think that's, uh, there's a blue jacket laying there. I think it's over there. All right, let's see. Yeah, let's just take a look. Yes. Quite a lot of debris on the ground. Yeah. Well, Port Elizabeth is known as the Windy City. Um, so it does make sense that there's a lot of debris that falls around when the wind blows. Oh, sure, it's there. Yeah, that's the next one. I wonder what those I are. I thought it was a little breathing hole. What's well, inside there? Not that somebody is dead. A breathing hole, <laughs> <laughs> eh? Look at this. So this is like kind of right in there. there there's three tombstones within there. Okay, we can maybe take a look there now. now. Oh my word. Hello? Do you see anything? This, this is the crypt. I can't, it's quite dark in there. Let me just shine the oh. flashlight. I don't want to kneel down too much. Oh, I don't want to. Uh, wrong setting. There we go. Maybe just hold it up. Maybe, maybe somebody can see something inside there. Right, right, let's take a look. I think so. Just don't drop it in there. The, we're never going to get it down. <laughs> well, you could maybe put it in here. Maybe I could put it in here. Yeah, it smells really old inside there. It smells, it, it smells like old decay. 
It's like a really old, musty, decayed smell inside here. Guys, it actually very smells, smells very bad. Technically, under the soil, buried in there, should be the, the deceased. Um, and as far as what we can tell, there's actually two people buried in here. So, no, we can't really see anything, but I, I wonder at night or... I'm going to see if I can try and get in you, deeper. You, you may see a... a oh, let me, let me use a, a night vision filter. This thing's not too big, guys. I mean, what you're seeing here is actually what we're seeing. I mean, there's no offshoots. I don't see anything else suspicious. Let's take a look on the night cam and see what we can find. Try the night vision setting. Let's see what we can see if there's. Because uh, at the moment, we're not looking for anything paranormal. We're just trying to see what's inside here. But uh, I mean, obviously, if we catch anything strange or you guys notice anything strange, like any orbs or strange movement or anything like that you can you can comment and let us know because we at the moment we can't really see that there's anything it's just like i mentioned that smell do you know what it actually smells like it smells like burnt wood almost as well yeah that's a that's it, it the smells, type of smell it's like an old it's it's like a smell of of something ancient like old and decayed yeah i mean obviously there's body is buried there but I, I think also just the soil and the rotting leaves and things like that that have got into this hole where it was damaged there's something laying here what does it say oh it's heavy in memory of james murr who died 6 august 1878 age 20 years someone of 20, 20 someone who's 20 years old i'm not too sure where this is broken off from uh, but uh, there's, there's uh, quite a bit of vandalism, so I mean this could be from anywhere in here, I'm not too sure. Uh, that this is just an example of the vandalism that takes place, which is unfortunate really. And then, to the memory of George William T, who departed his life March, 29th of March 1861, aged one year and two months. So that was also actually a little baby. And then over here, we have memory of Arabella Easters who departed this life on 14th of April and then the 18th, the rest of the, the stone is obscured but aged four years. So it's actually a one year old and a four year old that's buried inside here. Also, oh, also Sarah Beloved, wife of Frederick Easters, died 13th of August 1876, aged 56 years. So, so is that... Do you think it was a family of, or just a family of like children? It's like, um, it's, but Frederick Easters, I don't know who Frederick Easters was, but I think, I think it's a mother and, and her children buried in there. That's, that's what I can make out. That's so strange. Yeah. I wonder what from. Well, I just general. I mean, they died in, in the 1800s, so the healthcare was virtually non-existent. I mean, they, if anything was wrong, like there's I said, like, you just die. There's so. like no penicillin, no, no medical nothing. facilities. So any infection or sickness that you got, I mean, it would basically mean the end of your life, most likely. Yeah. Now, we found another sort of open crypt over here. Somebody's decided to open it. I can't read so well what it says. Uh, this is 18, uh, April 1800. Sacred to the memory of William Matthew Paris. It's so weird, the writing just suddenly became clear to me now. Um, yeah, okay, so this is William. Um, this one doesn't really smell. Oh, here's a spider web. Oh, look at that. No spider. <laughs> but uh, this one, th there's just broken bricks and... Oh, check that, check that shape that's on this, br on this brick over here. Yeah. So the, uh, wow. I, it's probably part of the structure that was broken or damaged when somebody tried to open it or when they did open it. Yeah. Take a look at this. That's the old church up on the hill, um, all the ruins of the church. It's actually in fairly good condition. Obviously, it doesn't have a roof or anything like that. But I'm hoping we can actually, if we can access this walkway, we'll be able to get inside. I think I think we should actually try and get there now. Yeah, we don't want to. Because to be honest, I don't really want to be here too late at night because this part of, uh, part of Port Elizabeth is a little bit sketchy at night time. So. 
we may be in some danger at night. I'm not too sure if vagrants still live in here. Um, but yeah, I think oh, we should check dude. out the, the church. Check it out. Can you see? The doorway. Yeah, there looks like a, a doorway down. I'm zooming in for us, guys. Sorry for the bad. Um, but look at that. Now that If that's on airy, I don't know what it is. That's actually drawing me. <laughs> it's drawing me to it, <laughs> funny enough. Alright guys, so um, I'm just going to give you a quick view of what it looks like from the highest point of the graveyard. Um, look at that guys. Um, it's not that tall or not that high, um, but it's pretty awesome knowing that this is probably the oldest graveyard in Port Elizabeth. It's just a shame that how much damage and you know destruction has happened over here over the years and nobody has bothered to keep it up um, so yeah hey yeah actually guys it doesn't look like it's such a, a difficult thing but these rocks are very loose so we're gonna try and see if we can get up here I'm gonna try lost my footing over there oh my word guys let's take a look let's just be cautious because actually the walkways are cordoned off from this area so people generally walk around it but not if I can if I can see something there this looks like this blanket of some sort yeah maybe somebody's staying there Oh my word guys, look at that. Wow. This looks kind of creepy over here. There's Swatchnik over here. Where do you think this goes? Is it like a doorway anyway? You see anything? I'm not too sure what this, empty room. I'm not too sure what this would have been. Maybe just some sort of um, storage unit? It could be. Oh, look, look at, at this. That. That's why there's a um, Star of David, a Jewish symbol. Oh look at that. I don't know if somebody purposely put it there or if they because thought, of the because of the swastika as well. They thought that's how pentagram looks. Oh yeah, but that's quite ironic actually. Yeah, that is but ironic. There's an arrow pointing that way with the swastika. The same person who sprayed that swastika made this arrow over here. Yeah, but look at this, dude. Look at look look, look at this. How worn this wall has become. But someone's made a fire here. Yeah. You see, check here. Yeah. You can actually see the inside of the building. This is actually sandstone off as well, maybe. Yeah. Let's see if we can get inside. This is definitely sandstone, guys. Yeah. So guys must be very careful maybe. I don't know, not touch anything that we shouldn't touch. Check it. To your left. What's inside there? Let's go take a look guys. What's that? Ah, I thought it was like something. <laughs> Remain out of the view of those houses, I think we'll be good, just in case. Yeah. Whoa guys. There's a bit of an eerie feeling in this structural, in these structural remains. Like, as like, I walked in here, I felt yeah. something strange. Or something. For me, when I was in the cemetery, it didn't feel too bad, but being in these walls, they, they feel sort of like a bit of a heaviness. This, this church that we're looking at right now um, could have been some sort of apostolic type of church. I think. I, I think this, if I'm not mistaken, somebody can correct me, but I think this was the first Anglican church. Anglican church? Yeah, in, in Port Elizabeth. If I'm not mistaken. All right. If anybody can correct me, that's fine as well. But from what I researched, I, I think I recall that it was the first Anglican church. But look at, I wonder if that's part of the construct. No, it isn't. That's it's just the, the wall, I think, for the walkway. Yeah. But yeah, there's, there's a strange, heavy feeling here. So yeah, this is this is Settlers Valley. Um, this is a view of Settlers Valley. Um, down in the valley, there's where the Balkans River is running, um, and there's yeah, there's just a general view. You can actually see quite a lot of um, Port Elizabeth's city centre from here. 
um, if you look across over there in the distance, there's a tall, um, a tall structure which is called the, the Campanile. Um, it has a large bell at the top, and it's actually a, it's a clock tower basically, so you can hear the bells chiming from that. Um, we can see an old church as well, which is in the, it's in the city centre as well. It's some, some type of cathedral, I'm not sure of the name, but we most likely are going to be visiting it and we're going to be exploring it. And guys, you guys can see there, there is a lighthouse. Um, that is one of Paul Elizabeth's monuments. Um, it's known as the Duncan Reserve. Yeah. And right there, there's like a tip, tip, right next to the right hand side of the, the lighthouse, you can see the point of a small pyramid that was built um, oh, yeah. in the remembrance of, um, uh, I think it was Queen Elizabeth II, yeah. or one of the queens they were um, ruling at the time. And then the tall, the tall mast next to it, they, they hoist a, a flag up during the daytime. Um, the South African flag, it's not currently up. I think they, they take it down at night. Yeah, so this is pretty intriguing actually for me personally because I watch a lot of movies, like quite like old ancient movies or back in the day movies. Yeah, <laughs> you would, classics. Like, classics, you know. And it's pretty amazing to feel how how, how it is to be here in a in a, a an old building that you know that you usually see on TV in the old movies you know and because yeah. I mean the, this building dates back to the 1800s then yeah or at least early 1900s at the latest because uh, I think they may have built the church or constructed it after the cemetery yeah I know but it's definitely it's very old I mean early 1900s late 1800s and we are currently standing in the basically the entrance part of the church yeah. where people used to come and go into the church it's got quite a view actually um, yeah if you look from here you can see what um, which is settlers valley which is where the barkins river runs through Okay, so now currently we're walking away from the, the banded church and we're going to walk, we'll try and make our way back under this walkway over there, uh, back through the cemetery. It's the only way that we can really get out of here because we can't access this walkway. I think this walkway was actually built for the, for the residents of these homes just to sort of stroll around. So we can't really access it. We need to duck under and go back down the hill like, like a bunch of animals. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, so that was an overview of St. Mary's Cemetery. Um, yeah, but we found some pretty interesting, um, interesting dated stones, uh, generally from the 1800s and early 1900s. We went up to the old Anglican church or what's left of it and uh, explored a little bit there. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. A little bit of history, a little bit of eeriness now in the dark. Um, as I said, we go, we're going to come back here at some point later on at night and when there's not so much activity across the road. Because it's really, it's causing such an obstructive noise. If, yeah. Even if there was something to hear um, in, this, in the dark, we wouldn't hear it because there's such a commotion over here. Um, so yeah, uh, guys, in the later episode, We'll be coming right back here to St. Mary's. It's going to be late at night. We're going to try and get some EVPs and uh, use night uh, night vision filters. And yeah, I, I think it's really going to be an interesting one. Because now looking at this place at night, it seems really hairy. So, yeah, yeah. It does, I, I do. It feels does feel a bit strange as well. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, please please like our video. Please subscribe. Please continue showing your support. Um, and really, we'll, we'll appreciate it. We want this to grow and we want to give you guys more adventure and more experiences to enjoy. So please, like and subscribe to our channel. Cool guys, thank you very much. We'll see you guys on the next video. See you next time. Hey guys yeah so guys we were we were on the way home and um, we happened to spot the series of uh, four is there four or five abandoned houses over here it's about four, it's four. four five. yeah in a row they're all abandoned uh, we just drove past now at night time we don't see any activity uh, but we actually just want to give you guys a little sneak peek because this is going to be an upcoming video but we want to just give you a little sneak peek we're gonna like maybe quickly dash inside, shine a torch around a little bit, and then come to the car. And it's probably gonna be quite scary, to be honest. So All yeah, right, that's what we're gonna give you guys. Awesome. <laughs> Sketchy, yeah, dude, I don't know if I should be here. Those is... rooms up there, dude, look fucking freaky. Yeah. No. No? Eh? Oh, anything. What hey, guys. So, here we are on location, um, on site. The fuck was that? Uh, just a different... I just uh, want to adjust the beam a little, like, so we're so more concentrated. Okay, guys, we are now on... Can you see? On site. Um, Actually. These are the row of abandoned houses. Um, this is a very dodgy part. This is a sneak peek. Can you see anything? Check out, check out there. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna just step in here quickly. Okay, let's get to the look. The couch. I can't see anything. Oh. Sorry, sorry. I can't see anything, dude, on the camera. You see that couch? Yeah, but very rare. It's hard. Is it one at one angle? The door moved. Okay, the uh, I can't still can't see anything. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Shit. Fuck. Let's go, let's get out of here quickly. There's fucking just someone standing there. Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh. That was fucking <gasps> freaky, guys. <laughs> just, like, they must have heard us the whole time. Yeah, but like, what the hell? They're just standing there. Yeah. One person just standing there. Jeez, dude, that's freaky. Shit. I get goosebumps now. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't need to put my seatbelt on.